Good morning, Bethel family, and welcome to Kid Connect. <laughs> yeah! We're so awesome. happy to see you here today, and um, happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, hopefully, what? Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you I mean, so much. I mean, happy Mother's thank Day. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, hopefully you kids are... Today, I'm going to do something special for you. You are? Oh, I'm supposed to be listening. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm going to order food. <sighs> thank goodness. <laughs> I could cook. <laughs> but ordering But ordering is a lot easier. It's no, just I'm as just good. Kidding. It's just as good. Alright, so hopefully kids, you're spoiling your moms today and um, just showing them how much you love them. Also, I hope that all of you got, um, we sent out a letter, or actually a package almost, um, of papers this week, just saying how much we missed you and giving you some activity pages, some coloring pages. And we also slid in there one of our favorite things to do. And honestly, one of my favorite things to see my kids do is those little questionnaires that the kids fill out about moms. And so we put those in there. If you didn't get it, please, you know, just message us and um, let us know because we probably don't have your right address. Um, but yeah, let us know. If not, we are going to post a link below with that. For just the Mother's Day sheet. Just yeah. the Mother's Day sheet. Yeah, just yes. the Mother's Day sheet. Yeah. But if you didn't get it, the, the letters, let us know because we want to get those out to you. Yeah. Yeah. So on this Mother's Day, we wanted to talk about in the Bible, in the book of Ruth, Oh, we're going to talk about Elijah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, can you Straight guess? Straight from the book of Ruth. Who we're going to talk about today? Elijah. No, not My Elijah. My Little Ponies. No, but we no. have heard a lot about that in our house this, yes. you know, these last few weeks. There's nine seasons or something. Yeah, I don't And know. I believe they've watched all of them. <laughs> but they have watched a whole lot. But anyways. Friendship the... is magic. <laughs> oh, sorry. So... We're talking about Elijah in the book of no, Ruth. No, not Elijah. No. Raymond. No. I don't know who you were talking about. In Ruth? Yeah, in who Ruth. Who else is in there? Anything? I don't know. Ruth, maybe. Oh. But first, before we get to Ruth, I wanted to just give a little bit of a backstory. Um, there was a woman named Naomi. So we're not talking about We her. are going to talk you about You lied to me. <laughs> but first, we're going to talk about Naomi. And Naomi was a woman in the Bible. She was married and she had two sons. And where she lived... Jim and Bob. Not Jim and Bob. Oh, okay. But where they lived, they were having a famine, so they had to move. And so... To Disney World. Not to Disney World. No, to Moab. Oh, okay. Moab. So, they moved to Moab, and guess what? Their sons met two wonderful girls, and they got married. Aww. Aww, so sweet. So, but... Marriage! And not so happy news. Oh. Um, something happened and both Naomi's husband and her two Stop sons... Stop it. Is this like the sad part of Frozen when the ship goes and it just it's disappears into like the that. ocean? It's kind of like that. Mm. Uh, the, her husband and her two sons passed away. That's and it was very good. sad. So Naomi was... Um, she was kind of left with, with no one except her daughters-in-law. Um, when but I'm she listening was in... to you, I never know what to do with my hands. <laughs> I understand. Do I put them I here? Do the same thing. I put them here? <laughs> I'm, today I'm just going to put them here. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> That's not distracting at all. <laughs> anyway, Please go on with your story, Miss Kristen. <laughs> so Naomi, she was in a land that was not her own. She, was, she had lost her husband and her sons, so she decided to move back home. <laughs> oh, sorry. But To Disneyland. Not to Disneyland. Oh. To, uh, to Israel. Israel. Okay. So, um... Who's this? <laughs> Naomi. Naomi. Okay. <laughs> so Naomi's going to Disney World. There's a difference. No. One's in California, no. one's in Florida. No Disney. Oh, no. okay. Anyways. What if we social distance? No. <laughs> no, that would not it's work. Still not? This is back in the Bible. Oh. No. No. We didn't have to do that. Rock World. <laughs> sure. We could call it Rock World. Camel World. <laughs> I've ridden a camel before. Yes, you have. It was strange. I have too, actually. That was strange. But yours was cooler. Mine was... was in Israel. I know. Oh, I see where you're going. So that's where <laughs> Naomi's going back to. Yes. Okay. Anyways, so she's like, she told her daughters-in-law, you know, it's okay. Go back to your families. 
um, you know, you, you're you young, just, you know, you need to start over. Go back with your families. And, and they said, peace out. Well, and they just went away. No. Well, one of them was like, yeah, um, oh, I'm going to go back with my mom. You know, she was so gracious, though, to Naomi of how she had taken mm. care of her. But Ruth, Ruth. See, I told you you were talking about Ruth. In the book of Elijah. No. Oh. The book of Ruth. Oh, okay. She said, no, I can't leave you. I'm going to go with you. And, oh, and Naomi's okay. like, but this isn't even your land. You're you're going to a foreign land. She's like, yeah, you're going to a whole new world. A whole new world. We are going to Disney, Disney world. world. Yeah. <laughs> but no, she said, your people will be my people and your God will be my God. She didn't want to, she wasn't even, I mean, she was part of her family, but she was married into that family. And she wanted to take care of her mother-in-law. She wanted to show respect because it was her mother-in-law. And so- So they all jumped in the car. In one accord. Like a Flintstones car. <laughs> put their feet and they went shh, shh, No. Shh. No one's getting that reference. No. None of the None children of the kids, watching this no. are gonna get that reference. No. Probably not. Flintstones. Meet the Flintstones. <laughs> so she went and she took care of Naomi. She took care of her because remember she had no husband. She didn't have a place to live. So that she, changes later on, yes, doesn't it? It does. We, are you we going... won't get we're not getting that far into today. Oh, uh, okay. Do you, do you but, want to? Well, no. Okay. Well, quick recap. Ruth <laughs> yes. meets a man. Yes, she does. While she's helping take care, and then the story of how she takes care, yeah. all this stuff, and it turns out all these things, and she gets married. She does. To Boaz. Yeah, she does. If you want See, to read about that, the book of Ruth. I was just playing. I knew. Oh, good, good. I'm Someone. so glad you knew. <laughs> I knew they were going to make it to Disney World. <laughs> a whole new world. So they made it. They... Ruth and Boaz got married. Yes. And then they were asked what they're going to do next. And they went to Boy, Camel Disney. World <laughs> and rode camels together. Uh, That's not in the Bible. No, it's not. We'll have to ask Ruth when we get to Camel Yes. If they went to Camel World. If there was a Camel World. <laughs> okay, right. so the whole point of this. <laughs> you throwing it to me now? Yes. All right, so the whole point of this is how important it is like it just this is one story in the bible not only does it show a great like ending and things like that but it also shows um how we should treat our parents mm -hmm. you know and and uh mother's day is a great time then we always do mother's day father's day whatever mm -hmm. but this story is specifically between a daughter-in-law who's not even that's not even her actual mom right. i mean it is but not birth mom right you know this is someone who played that role of mother in her life that she just had this so much love and respect for, um, and and it makes a big difference. And all of us, we have a mom or we have a person in our life that that's plays that role. Yeah, you know, true. because I know that every family can be different, and there's different mm -hmm. situations. And so we have um, someone, or or sometimes multiple people that play that role in our lives, and we need to be able to show that love. And there's a lot of different ways to do that. Um, what is one way, Miss Kristen? Well, one way is with our words. Our words are very important. The words that come out of our mouths are so important. We need to tell them just the basic things like, I love you, I care about you, thank you. Thank you for the things that you do. But also the way that we talk to our parents or our moms specifically today, the way that we talk to them, we need to treat them with respect. We need to make sure that we are being respectful with our words yeah. and kind. Then the next part of that equation is your actions. That's right. So I could say, Miss Kristen, I love you so much. And then I could take a stick and yeah. start hitting her with no. it. Right? Does that action back up no. what I'm saying? I love you so much. No. Right? No, that doesn't back it up. Um, our actions also need to back that up. Now, in this story, Ruth, and we keep pointing. I know, there's a Bible, Bible in front of us. Um, in this story with Ruth, I mean, Ruth literally leaves everything she knows and goes. Yes. You know? Um, and so some ideas for action just to show your mom how you love her. Like right here, this is a sweeper. Actually, it's dirty, so I don't want to lift it too high. <laughs> they just, well, Michael's been sweeping. Yeah, he has. Um, you can clean. Good cleaner. Like here's some practical ways, clean. Uh, you know, we've got some, you know, do the dishes, wash the dishes and empty the, yeah. without arguing. Yes. You know, talking about the wor words, like, <laughs> like if it's your, well, that's already my chore. I'd do it anyway. Well, do it without an attitude. Um, do everything without clean your room. Arguing. Yeah. Do everything, uh, without complaining. Yeah. 
our kids are going to know that song because during camp, VBS camp, uh, whenever someone complains, <laughs> we get everyone to sing that song. Yes. So just ask your kids. If you're a parent watching this, ask your kids. They'll know. Um, clean up your room. Keep your clean, you know, toys without clean. Without asking. Without asking. Without having to be asked. You know, when it's time to eat and you're trying to beat that next level on a video game <laughs> and your mom is like, hey, come on. Your mom just made you dinner. Go sit and eat. Like, these are just simple <laughs> actions. If Ruth left her country and everything she knew to walk miles upon miles and miles to a land that she had no idea about. Mm -hmm. um, I think we could stop playing video games for five minutes and sit down and eat, <laughs> you know? So. Our actions and our words are a way to show respect. And when we do that, that's what God wants from us, yeah. you know, to, to the people that he's placed in our lives um, that are there to protect us and care for us. We need to show them love and respect uh, back. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a way to not only honor our parents, but to honor God. That's right. You that's know? Right. So, yeah, that's Ruth and Naomi. Yes, that is our story for today. And hopefully you guys have plans to show your moms how much uh, you love them. If they're not with you, maybe you can call them or, you know, send them something in the mail. Um, but, yeah, hopefully you are. And if you're a mom watching, I hope you feel honored today. And one quick tip for the kids. Um, when you're filling out that thing and it's, it's the, one of the questions is, how old is your mom? <laughs> guess low. <laughs> Don't guess high. <laughs> Just a quick little tip if you want some like, like dessert, okay? <laughs> if you guess 150, <laughs> you ain't getting those brownies or whatever it is that you got. So <laughs> Good, good tip for the yes. day. <laughs> All right, well, I was going to say, do you want to close? Me? Well, you? I'll have you pray in a minute. Is that okay? I can pray. But um, this week we will continue our family devotions. Um, we will start a new devotion this week. And we hope to see you guys at 6 o'clock on these week, Monday through Friday weekdays. And we hope you have a great day. And we're going to pray to That's close right. you guys out. Lord, we just love you. We thank you. We thank you so much uh, just for the example that Ruth was um, and Naomi and, and that love and respect. We just pray that you help us to... Uh, respect those that you've put in our lives, our moms. We pray today that you will bless all the moms, um, spiritual moms, physical moms, just, just uh, let them just feel your love, your joy, your peace uh, today in, in, in extra, just extra. Uh, and we love you. We thank you. We give you honor and glory. We pray health and safety over everybody. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Yeah, your moms need extra because they've been dealing, I know... <laughs> It's been like six weeks, seven no, weeks, eight I'm weeks, sure ten weeks, twelve eight. weeks. I think it's it, been eight. It's been many weeks. Okay, so kids, your mom, especially, just <laughs> give her one day. Okay. Um, Clean those dishes for her. Yeah. And pick up your. Room. And dad, your day is coming. Hopefully, we will we'll yes, still be in the house at that point. But oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Not by then. Goodbye, Bye. everybody. <laughs>